A few days after President Jakaki Kikwete warned that there will be no real development in Tanzania without investment, there have been complaints from major investors who have decided to invest in the country. Here are the details on the story. Some prospective investors have complained on poor cooperation with relevant organs involved in the whole process of investment due to bureaucracy. Owners of a Turkish company, TPM, which has invested in mining and buying copper from small-scale miners in New Katavi region, says since experts in the National Environmental Management Council, NEMC, went there nine months ago for impact assessment, there has been no response from the council. TPM board chairman, Savet Yazici, also said there was a delay in clearing their cargo at ports, making them pay huge amounts of demerage charges. The ruling party Chama Chapinduzi CCM has called on the Ministry of Energy and Minerals to reallocate land monopolized by big investors which have not been developed for a long time to small-scale miners to reduce land disputes. Here's more on the story. The statement was made by CCM Secretary for Ideology and Publicity Nape Nawie when addressing separate rallies in Katoro Kagera region and Gaeta in Mwanza region. During the public rally held in Gaeta, residents paid tribute to a member of CCM National Executive Committee, who is also a terror member of parliament, Livingstone Lucinde, for naming publicly executives who undermined people's development. Permanent Secretary to the Ministry of Health and Social Welfare, Blandina Nyoni, says the government has been satisfied on how people responded in testing their health status following a five-year initiative which sought to promote radio programming on the subject of HIV AIDS. Here are the details. She was speaking at the end of the initiative called Strategic Radio Communication for Development, sponsored by the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, in a speech read on behalf by the Ministry's Director of Prevention Services, Dr. Gilbert Mliga. At the ceremony, USAID Senior Advisor on Matters Pertaining to HIV and Prevention, Seth Green, said they have been satisfied on how the project was efficiently implemented. Through capacity building efforts with national, regional, and district authorities and officials, as well as collaborations with um, public and private radio stations, this country is far better prepared to appropriately respond to emerging health and behavior change issues within the HIV and broader health fields. Tanzania Assemblies of God Church has started a 10-year strategic plan to build 22 secondary schools, teachers, colleges and universities in a bid to support government's efforts in improving the education sector in the country. Here's a report. At a graduation ceremony of Ebenezer Seminary Secondary School in Iringa, the head of the church, Archbishop Dr. Banabas Mtokambali, said the schools from Form 1 to Form 6 will be built in 22 regions of Tanzania mainland while teachers' colleges will be built in Iringa and Kilimanjaro regions to reduce shortage of secondary schools, teachers in the country. Ebenezer Seminary Secondary School in Iringa was being funded by United States Riverside Church, whose cleric, Dr. John King, said in the past five years they contributed more than 200 million shillings for construction of 20 classrooms for the school. When Riverside Community Church said that we would help to build this magnificent school, we were concerned about your education. We were concerned that you would live ethically in the nation. And that's the end of the national news. The African news is next after the break.